Okay, welcome to a new game. Um, wanted to do a DD game and do some kind of philosophical bulbing thing because I don't usually do that. Might try for cannons or something different too. I was thinking of playing Peter, he's actually pretty damn good of a leader. I've underestimated those traits a lot, so yeah, we'll give it a try. Pangea. That's the best map for philosophical trait to be effective. And we'll just go for it on DT difficulty. Yeah, he's um, a pretty good leader. I mean, philosophical expansive. You get the great people out, you can get out like three scientists and three merchants by 500 AD and then He's expansive, so he can expand, obviously. But um, no, the cheaper granaries and the fast workers is really nice, and then the extra health. It's a big difference. You can give up fresh water and get away with it. You can um, deal with the late game health later on with the factories, and yeah, it can really help you grow your capital and. But mainly the cheaper granaries, that's, that's huge, like... Instead of growing to size 4 and 2 pop whipping it, you could just grow to size 2 and 1 pop whip it, or you could just get it with one shop, pretty much, and then... Yeah, you're saving like 10 turns, it's, it's a big deal. Pretty strong trait, I think I've underestimated it a lot. It's, it's, it's up there with like spiritual and financial, I think. Um, the starting techs are pretty good. Hunting could be agriculture, but hunting in this scenario is not bad. Like, I'm close to animal husbandry, I'm close to bronze working. That's that's really, really solid. I have access to my food techs, apart from fishing, but I'm not on the coast, so that's even better. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. No complaints there. And hold on a minute. The unique stuff is what? Not done yet. Um, the research institute. Wow, it's um, it, it's pretty strong. Like plus two free scientists. You don't get that on a normal laboratory. But it comes at superconductors, which is like, yeah, you need computers or refrigeration. <laughs> That's only good on a space game, and even then, like, the game's already decided at that point if you can win by space or not. It really doesn't make a much of a difference. Like, two free scientists is cute, but you might not even get an extra great scientist out of it that late in the game. It's a bit of an underwhelming building, but that's okay. The unique unit is pretty good though, it's uh, well, cavalry are already really strong and this is just a better cavalry. Like, yeah, you gain a 50% versus mounted unit and that's, that's really huge. You can deal with other cavalry, no problem, you don't have to promote to formation to reliably kill them, you can just kill them at 95% chance, just with like combat 1 or whatever. 50% is a big boost. And cavalry, yeah, I mean, they can kind of handle rifles, they can even handle infantry. Other cavalry, yeah, this just makes it even easier. I guess the only thing you'd struggle with is like artillery or something, but they cost 150 hammers and yeah, you only 120 hammers, so yeah. But, um,. Anyway, pretty damn good unit. Alright, so what's over here? This is interesting. We could settle the marble for the three hammer tile, but I don't know if I want to move away from my food. It looks like we have water down here by the way the river's shaped here. It, this is like the a corner? Well, maybe not. I can't tell. Maybe there's water here. No, no there is water here because I can see water here too. The little beach. You can see the drops. So I think this, this is water down here. Let me put the volume up. Uh, let me just double check my stuff. So yeah, DT difficulty, no hot snow events. Um, looks like 
Looks like we have water here too. Although that is a lake because I mouse over these tiles and it says freshwater on the bottom left if you can see that. It says freshwater here, so this this is a lake. We're not surrounded in water. As far as I'm concerned, there's just a little bit of water down here. And we're near the middle of the map because we have these um, grasslandy, I don't know, meadows, trees here. And then we have the pine Christmas trees down here, so this is like the bottom half of the map, and this is the middle. But we're in a pretty good spot, and yeah, we have floodplains and six foot tile, this is not bad. So I guess I want to check for fish or what? Um, if I was gonna move, I mean, the spot is kind of tempting. If there's a food over here, like a corn here, maybe could persuade me to settle on this tile and... But really, it's not too much of a deal. I still have to check animal husbandry to get my food, so... Well, we'll see. If there's a corn here, we can go agriculture, so maybe the 10 turn worker could be better. Let's take a look. Okay, desert, floodplains... There's nothing here. I don't see any reason. No. Why would I go here? I'm one tile from the coast. I have like three, four desert tiles in the capital, and... lose a lot of floodplains. It's, it's not worth it. I can plant here, and then I can go here, and share a bunch of cottages, and you know, life will be good. So I think we just settle in place, and like we can work three food, one gold tile, then we pop borders, we can work this and get the worker a little bit faster, because expensive, with four hammers, is plus one hammer, even if we're not on a plains hill, we still get the bonus. And then, yeah, we get the worker in 13 or so turns, and that's just in time for animal husbandry if you're working on one gold tile, so I think that's fine. Get the pasture up like two turns earlier, maybe? Something like that. Should get it at turn 13, animal husbandry and the worker, so that'd be nice. And yeah, we can build a great library and do philosophical things in the National Epic, so aesthetics is looking pretty good. So I think I'm going to just... well, I could settle the wine. Lose a floodplain, but plus one early commerce is kind of a big deal. I could settle here if I want. Yeah, I mean, maybe I do that. That'll get me the animal husbandry that much faster. I mean, that won't really do much. My worker has to go there anyway. I get to work this tile from the start, though, and I have plus one commerce, so maybe it's better. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like th th there's a river here, so there's actually more river tiles here, so I'm losing what? I lose this tile and this tile and these forests here, but I gain this forest. I gain whatever piece of crap is on here. Actually, that's this is a river tile, because the river's going this way. So this is a river tile, this is a river tile, and this is most definitely a river tile, as you can see here. So, no, I lose, like, three... I lose a floodplain and three crappy tiles, and I gain, what, a grassland tile, a forest, and some river stuff. So I think it's worth it. Or could have a... Could have something here, but... We can grab it later. It's okay. I think that plus one commerce is a good pickup. And I'm just checking if there's an oasis here. It does say fresh water here. That's interesting. This could be an oasis, or this could be an oasis. It does not say this is freshwater, so no, this this over here is probably an oasis. Because it's telling me this tile has fresh water, but I don't see any river next to it. No, there's no river. So one of these desert tiles is an oasis, but it's not this one, otherwise these ones would say fresh water. Um, do we want the plus one commerce? Yeah, I think it's worth it. Let's go for it. Oh! Hey! Not bad. Yeah, and 12 turn worker, 13 turn animal husbandry. I get the worker out, he goes here, and yeah, turn thir by 13 turns we have the pig, so it's pretty good. Not bad at all, and yeah, we have elephants. I don't know how much we'll use that, but Hey, plus one early happiness, you can't really complain about that. 
That's a nice tile, and yeah, we didn't get anything over here. I mean, there could be copper or iron right here, or here. No, it's most likely here if there's a strategic resource, because I started here, and they usually put them in your big fat cross if they're going to give you one like that. So this could be copper or iron, but we can grab that with another city, no problem. So definitely work a start into animal husbandry, and let's see if we can meet some bastards early. We have pretty good land to work with. Okay, we know that's an oasis. I don't think I need to go over there too much. I think I want to scout out what's to the left here, maybe. I know the north is just going to be jungle. Well, we don't know that for sure. Oops, I just clicked out of the game like an idiot. Okay, there's Matsumus here. No, he's not. Alright, well, let's go for it. Alright, what are we doing? We are gonna... what? Let's just take a look around. And, oh, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That's actually irrigated, so that's a pretty good tile to grab. Check out the... oh, mama. Ooh. Kinda want that. That's a desert gold, and okay, that's a good neighbor to have. I think. Oh, okay, lovely neighbors, peaceful people. I'm not gonna get rushed at 1000 BC. That's, that's good, that's good. Um, Gandhi's probably best tucker here, even though people are gonna hate him, but. Yeah, but he's an idiot and goes for religious stuff. Freddy is actually more of a concise tucker, he will just go for economical stuff, and he's got a slightly lower peace weight than Gandhi, I think. Yeah, like he's only pleased with it. He's only cautious, but Gandhi loves him, I think. So I think like Freddy is peace weight like 7 or 8, and Gandhi's like peace weight 10. Everyone's gonna hate Gandhi, Gandhi's gonna die. But Freddy might be able to get along with people, so Freddy will probably end up teching a bit better. So we'll put our points on Freddy. They're both good techers, but that's my guess anyway that Gandhi will just get shut out of all the deals, so. Okay, that's some. Um, moderately aggressive person, but not the worst. She has attacked me an immortal at 2000 BC before though, because she's crazy. Let's just hope she doesn't do that again. Do I have my music on? What's going on here? Yeah, it's just a bit quiet. Can turn up the volume, maybe. I don't know. I have a new headset, so... Sounds a bit different, probably. I'm not sure if the volume's too quiet or too loud or whatever. Oh. Not you. Oh, God. Blech. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle. No longer the worst enemy of each other. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, great. There's someone he hates even more than Gandhi, so there's another peaceful idiot here. You know, there might be. I don't know who else he would hate more, like. Uh, I don't know, like ketchup soot or something. Uh, okay, he's minus six, but. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably like a ketchup soot or something like that here, I don't know. Alright, so what do we want now? We have hunting, so we can improve that. Bronze working? Question mark. Yeah, look at that, 1510 bronze working, because I have this... You know, without that extra commerce, it would be like, what? 16 turns. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, well, we have mining, because we have good starting techs. <laughs> We don't need agriculture, we don't need to farm anything, we have enough food. 
We do want to get to pottery though, but I think I want to put a mine here, or no, I want to camp that and then chop settler. If 15 turns, you know, I improve this, I probably want to mine that while I'm waiting and then pasture that and work these three tiles at size 3 and get my settler out and chop chop. Something like that seems pretty good. Is there any horses? No. Okay, I think Freddy's in the south and Shaka is in the jungle somewhere. Shaka's no longer the worst enemy of Gandhi. So we have another low piece weight AI and then we have uh, another high piece weight AI. So there's like four high piece weight guys and then like two low piece weight ones. It's gonna be a fairly peaceful game maybe? No it's not but it's gonna be a fast tech paced game probably. We're gonna have four peaceful guys loving each other. Hopefully they get different religions and don't trade around everything. Okay the lion's already dying. There goes the early religions. I wonder if Gandhi got one. No he what the hell? Gandhi missed a religion? Yeah, it must be like, I don't know, Wang Kong or Hatshepsut or something like that. We'll see. It doesn't make much difference. I think go for the ivory first. It's a better tile. Slightly. No, it is a better tile. It's 132 versus five, one, uh, zero, 051. So go for the ivory first. We have to wait for bronze working anyway. Okay, warrior. Yeah, just grow to size. Well, we'll try and get like four and four. Maybe if I switch it next turn, we can get four and four on the warrior. Um, yeah, I'd like to get four and four on him, get him out, and then immediately start on a settler. What about now? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. I won't finish before size 3, so yeah, whatever. Alright, who else is here? Come on, guys. Where's the other two guys? Hello? Yeah, I want the gold mine. Like, I can just go here. On the plains hill. Grab that, grab that. Oh, uh, well, I don't know about that. I have to get a border pop. No, I think you go, like, here. Just grab the stupid gold and then here take the pig from the capital. It's not really great. Just whack the gold mine. Not too sure. Speed up my early game research and fund my expansion. But maybe that gold mine will be there for a while and Freddy, since, yeah, yeah, since Freddy's down here somewhere, we might want this spot first. This is nice here on the plains hill. I think we go here. We need a water pump. Well, or we can just go here and just shut the pump off. Yeah, then I waste a floodplain. I don't know about that. I can't share any cottages. Here it's probably better. And maybe can settle something here, especially if there's like a fish. Not too sure. I need more information, maybe if there's like copper down here or something, or copper up here. Okay, we want settler now. Yeah, 10 turn settler. We can expand pretty fast. Okay, well, there is barbarian arches. I think I want my warrior in this tile, ideally, and the scout can look down here, but we can take a look what's over here. Yeah, I'll go mine this tile while I wait for bronze working. Okay, him. And he's got a religion. Is he the worst enemy? Um, I, I don't understand, like, why minus four is the worst enemy, but minus six isn't. Like, what is this guy's deal? He doesn't even like Augustus. <laughs> yeah, just Shaka hates everyone. Shaka's going to die. I think, yeah. He, he, he hates everyone other than me. Where we should be pretty safe from him. Yeah, he's a bastard. Okay, 
safe. Well, I don't know if I want to build this. Maybe I should just start chopping, to be honest. Just get into the forest next turn and start chopping them in. It's plus two hammers, but... anywhere yet they haven't done their third city just yet next time we move the warrior here and the scout here and get the warrior onto this hill it's a good defensive position do I want to finish this stupid mine or just start chopping I think you could go oracle with this kind of start but no Gundy go there pretty fast and I want to focus on expansion I have good land we want to grab the good land I need two settlers out for 2000 BC I think I will mind this because I'm going to be pumping out settlers here so maybe just finish this mine pump out the settlers and then yeah the expensive worker with the five and three hammers you know so I get an extra two hammers on it I think that's a good deal Fine, so fuck bust everything fuck busting everything. Do I want archery to defend myself? We have the jungle, we have this uh, yeah, I think we go archery. We have really good commerce. We can afford five turns of doing archery. We don't want to die, man. <laughs> yeah, I think archery is a good pickup. Yes, I could build like four warriors or I could just build like one or two archers and be okay and I think I rather the archers and you know six turns and six turns I can get the archer out straight after the settler it works out pretty good oh mama now that's um that's pretty good oh is there any sign of Frederick? No. Well. River gold. Boy. Kinda want the river gold. Alright, you whack this tile, get the extra two hammers. Unfortunately, it doesn't speed up my settler, so chopping would have been better, but... That's okay, we can start chopping now, and... I dare to go on this hill and yeah I think so okay yeah well we'll see what he does he hasn't plonked his third city but he might in a minute he's fog busting these tiles here so I can just stay on the hill London this whole area is covered okay, that guy went away would love to know if we have fish I want to go there, but the guy could be here, so... Don't want to die. Okay, well, start chopping, and I think I just want to chop away all these river tiles and put cottages later. Commence chopping. These tiles are all covered, so we can't technically go here. Doesn't really give us any information, but it's a thought that counts. Yeah, points on Frederick. I mean, victory is not bad either, but... Okay, yeah, these guys obviously love each other. They're gonna trade. We want to be part of that love fest too, so we can get some good stuff out of it. Um, yeah, he's here, let's, I don't know why he still has two cities, maybe he's building Stonehenge or something. Really weak start from Freddy, maybe he won't be that impressive this game. Still only two cities, like, what the hell, I'm gonna catch him in expansion, man. 
Yeah, oh, maybe go here. Cover more tiles. The animals are gone at this point. Um, copper, 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 copper. There's no copper anywhere. So do I want to try and grab this gold from under his nose? Like, I could just go here and claim everything. I missed the floodplains. But who cares? Well. Or I could just go right here, like, just <laughs> in his face, dude. Just in the forest here, yeah, I mean, I got the wet wheat and I got the gold, like, and I'm expensive, so the health, I don't even need to be on the river. Like, just right here. It's um, a bit dicey with the stupid barbarians, but... Maybe we can get an archer out. Yeah, I can probably get an archer there. Yeah, I can just put the chop. Oh boy, as we say that, well. Okay, there's horses there. Yeah, maybe he'll just attack this guy and die. He's wounded, he doesn't have permission. And okay, Freddy went for extremely early writing for whatever reason and just not expanding. Okay. You must throw the arrow, which will return against Okay, what I want to do now... Oh! Wait, who's this then? Is that Freddy or Victoria? I'm getting the colours mixed up. Okay, that must be the English, and this is Freddy. Yeah, it's as I thought, but wow, she's close. Yeah, four cities, she just went bang right here and gonna steal my oasis. You bastard. Alright, we want to go here. Um, if we can. He's just not expanding, so I'm gonna go take his wet gold and... Yeah. Deal with it, dude. Grow while we make arches, I think. I think the wheel is a good choice next, and do I want to just go... No, I think this is good. This is, this is fine. No, he went away. That's kind of a relief. Get my archer in there. I just need like four turns. Of not getting barbarian rushed. And I can get that spot. One, two, three, four, all right, five turns of peace from the barbarians. And yeah, I'm just gonna push all the way out here, like, why the hell not? And at size four, we go worker. So we chop this and then send the worker down. And then we just, you know, go for another fast, expensive worker. Here. I'm just gonna grab the land, dude, I don't care. Oh, but this guy. Can you go away, dude? I want the spots. Maybe we go here then. This is significantly better with like three grassland river tiles. Fog bust. I've nearly got the archer here. Like once the archer gets here, we're safe. Idea. We grow in two, but we're gonna put the chop into worker next turn, so. And it's size four, we build the worker, so yeah, we want to grow fast and then just work these tiles. I'm gonna put the chop into the worker though. Okay, don't do that, you punk! Come on, man, go away. And my archer's nearly here, so it's fine, really, but just annoying to do with this shite. Where do you go now? Uh, he went up here, so I can actually go for it. Yeah, I can just go for it. Just 
just stay away from me and everything will be fine. You stupid bastard. Okay, we send you to the new city. I'm gonna need agriculture next. Oh, you freaking bastard. I have to move the settler away as well. Oh, that sucks. What a punk! It's a long shot, but Freddy is just not interested in the gold, so I'll take it for myself. Fine, by me. Okay, we want the worker now. Ah, oh, we can't one turn it. But it's okay. I think I have time to get him out and then get the stupid archer out after that. Put your shoulder to the wheel. He should not be able to win that. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh no, I can't move my worker. Oh, we can just jump for a turn. That's fine. Okay, we have this idiot up here. I think I will try to get my warrior on that hill instead. My archer should be able to deal with this crap. I'm just gonna like rage quit if I lose this archer. Like, seriously, dude. Okay, dude, it's a bit early. What the hell? Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, but if my archer dies to this guy, we are dead. I just put this guy here. I might lose this. I have like 80% chance to win that. Alright, Freddy, I'm taking the gold. Go for the gold, as they say. I'm going for it. I've got an archer here, I'll be okay. And I think just go for a worker here. Size one worker. And this one will pump out settlers once we have a logical defense established. Yeah, just chop. That's all. Oh, what the hell? I'm getting boxed in, man. It's like 2400 BC. Good thing I actually pushed out and claimed some land. Man, these guys are just in my face. Like, dude, give me some space, you bastards. Okay, so what do we do with this guy? I think we want to chop, like, right here, and then here, and then here, and then over here. Oh, you know what? This bastard is gonna steal my tiles if he founds a religion, like Judaism or something. I need to chop this away now. He's gonna found a religion in here and steal my tiles. We can't let that happen. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, the stupid bastard might found a religion in there. Okay, get this up. Maybe I want this guy fortified. Well, barbarians. Yeah, just put this guy here, I think. We have this area down here kind of fog busted. The barbarians are either gonna come from here, in which case I move on the hill and defend across a river or whatever with a 75% bonus, or they're gonna come from the north, which I have 50%, but we can fortify here. And you do what? Grow. I think with these guys I'm pretty safe from barbarians. I mean we just pump out the settlers or what? Yeah, we're getting worker here and guess what? Expansive with the three hammer tile. So the sky will actually be like 12 turns, not 14 turns. Like, yeah, it's costing me four gold, but it's gonna produce, like, 50 beakers, 100 beakers later. 50 beakers. And if these idiots get too close to me, we can always just get, like, a construction rush going. I have a lot of forests, man. I can plonk a city here, plonk a city here, farm a couple of floodplains and go smash them. If they want to play it like that, little 
bastards. If I can get six cities, we can just go for lib or go for cannons or whatever and everything will be okay, but I don't know if the situation is going to pan out like that. We'll have to see. Anyway, once that gold mine comes online, our economy is going to be kicking butt. Like, yeah, you idiot, you missed the gold. Like, I don't know, Freddy's really weak this game. I think I'm going to focus Victoria. She's expanding really well. A stupid Freddy's putting his points on me anyway. Like, look at this, 0 0.5. I have one archer, no, I have two archers and a warrior, and I'm half of his military def military power. Like, this is DD, right? It should not be like that. Like, yeah, this is DT difficulty, and I have half of his military already with two archers, a warrior, and a scout. They start with four archers. So he has not built one unit, because he already starts with four archers. Well, maybe he's built, like, five archers, but... Oh, built one extra archer, so he's got five now, but that, that's pretty disappointing. <laughs> Does he even have bronze working yet? Okay, so... Gandhi, of course, avoided bronze working, as he tends to do. He's probably on monotheism, and it will be in this city and steal away my tiles, unfortunately. Yeah, Gandhi is looking to get pounded on by me and Shaka. We can just bribe Shaka in and be buddies with Shaka and smash them together. Shaka smash. Why not? Um, yeah, if he founds a religion in here, that's, that's, that's a bit too far, man. Like, what the hell, dude? You don't just steal my tiles like that and get away with it. Anyway, this witch is stealing that. I'm thinking of putting a city here. I can actually get the oasis if I put a city here and use a floodplain. Like, if there's a fish down here or even just iron right here, this would be a good spot. I have, like, I don't know, this feeling at the back of my head that there's, like, an iron or copper. No, not copper, but there's, like, iron down here making this land worth grabbing. I don't know, it's just a hunch. Obviously, I don't know, but... Yeah, and I'd like to steal this tile, and you know, the oasis and a lighthouse and an iron tile would make this worthwhile. You know, you got two, three food tiles, you can make a city work there. I think it would be worth grabbing. Especially since we will have double gold to support it. And yeah, I'm gonna go here, we can farm this and share this and yeah, we'll be good here. Yeah, this is this is a nice spot. I think well we have this one secured. This is a backfill, so I think I push here next before stupid Gandhi goes there. Let me chop away this forest. Shaka is no longer the worst enemy of Gandhi. Alright, who built Stonehenge? Uh, was that Freddy? Where's the hell's wonders? Oh, here. Rome! Okay. Yeah, I could move here, but then Archer goes here and bam, so... We don't want to mess with that right now. Will a barbarian come from the right? I don't think so. I think I'd rather put my archer on the hill than he can even go up here or whatever and everything will be fog busted pretty nicely. Bring the warrior back when he heals or whatever. I think we do that. Like, yeah, going archery has allowed me to like really push out and... Look at this, I'm not paying any unit cost for warriors. I'd have to pay like two gold per turn if I built a bunch of warriors and don't have a guarantee to win these fights, and you know, all kinds of nonsense. I wouldn't have had two warriors over here probably, so archery was a good pick up. Doing all we can here, and yeah, I think this is a pretty solid start. The horses, oh, I could put a city down here, like I'd love to know if there's a fish. Oh, well, now we do know. Okay, a city down here could be good later down the road. I'm sure Freddy will get down there eventually, but he's like... Well, okay, he's right here. He he might put a city down here. We'll have to see. We want this first, and then maybe we can go for this, and maybe this, and then this, and then that's my six cities, and I can just go for cannons with that, or military tradition, or whatever. Yeah, horses, I mean, Aquarius is. Okay, agriculture, five turns, maybe four, with the gold mine coming up in a minute. Should be four, yeah. Okay, Gandhi planted here, yeah, that's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, you've you got your fast workers, you bastard. Oh, you're building a road here. Go for it, dude. I'm just gonna sit back here and chop out settlers. Expand, because I have the gold to support it. Yeah, life will be good. Yeah, eat that, you bastard. I could road it to him for... into Freddy for really early trade routes, I'm not sure how much that would do. Like, yeah, I could fog bust here, but this tile is not actually fog busted, so I guess you didn't know. Your units fog bust a 2x2 two two radius around them, so this tile is in the dark, and you know, if I go here, that's not being fog busted. The cities only fog bust the tiles that they that are visible. They only, yeah, like... A unit can spawn here, because I don't have any units near here except the scout, but if I had culture here then obviously I'd have vision or culture here, which would be in seven turns or whatever. I would have access to this tile, but not yet. Alright, um, chop, chop, maybe road after that, preparation for trade routes. I just need like one road right here when he gets writing. We'll hang around this area. I want to cottage these tiles as well. No, I want to cottage down here to be honest. Maybe chop this road that, chop this and then start cottaging. Around about then I'll get pottery and yeah, look at my research dude. Pretty nice. Okay, so you can go back. I don't think barbarians are gonna come from over there. All right, this is perfect. Just, um, well, I could connect the gold for the you know what, it only it only delays the food by one turn, and I'm not growing anyway. Why not road this and that would help me connect it later a bit faster. Because I have to go here and stop. If I road this, I road it again, and then I can go here and improve it immediately after. So it only costs one turn to finish a road here, pretty much. So I think that's a good deal. And yeah, my archer can now go here safely without worrying about dying, and life is good. Oh, farmers, pray that you're yeah, look at them, they're getting riding really early, these guys. They're not fooling around for sure. Okay, good pottery writing. Pottery is a good thing to pick up. We have fog busty thanks to my archer, so this guy can go back to the city. And Gundy's taking care of that tile, because he's a nice guy. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm paying 5 gold, but who cares, I'm gaining 18 gold. <laughs> Maybe one more warrior for happiness. Oh, well, no. Let's overflow into a worker. Yeah, look at that, man. Expansive hammers. Bam. I'm gaining... How many hammers is expansive giving me? Look at that, dude. I have six hammers, nine, twelve, and I'm gaining an extra three from expansive. That's that's really solid. Pretty good try. Look at this, I'm about to chop. So, yeah. Look at that, two turn worker, dude. You can't beat that. That's, that's pretty awesome. As much as I want to peek up here, I probably shouldn't until I have my city here. So, wait one more turn and then we can peek. No problem. Alright, farm this dude. And yeah, once I have vision here, I can get started on fog busting down here. Unfortunately, barbarians can pop up here, and they probably will, but I have an archer here in this city. Like, if an archer comes here, I go on the hill and defend it. Like, yeah, it's not guaranteed, but uh, whatever, we take the risk. Yeah, I'm still getting 15 gold per turn, so who cares? Still get pottery. And, um. Alright. 
enhances nothing though. I think I want to start roading my city though. And oh boy, this is not good. Grow the size to him maybe. Yeah, I still get the worker in one, I think if that makes sense. So maybe I want to farm a couple floodplains since I'm sharing the food to the city. Yeah, I mean you could pro yeah, that probably makes sense. Farm a couple floodplains, like we have a lot of river tiles and just farming them would speed everything up. Alright, well Gandhi has been nice enough to put a road down here. Um, do I want to no, we can road that later. I'll road here, and I will road here. And then we can road that after if he decides to get writing. He doesn't have it yet, does he? So there's no need. He's protecting me from Shaka. What a nice guy. Just sit here and do my thing. Go for warrior here. Why not? Pottery, yeah, I have to wait one more turn, but that's no problem at all. And yeah, just pump out the workers, like. God, I love expensive. Um, <laughs> should really play more expensive leaders. I think we're getting a very good value out of it here. Plus one hammer here, plus three hammers here. And we're about to get the granaries going soon. This, this is pretty nice. Like, look at this. I've got three cities and, like, three workers, and it's not even turn 50. <laughs> you don't get that very often. Alright, so we want a road here. And we want a road here, because these idiots are getting writing, I should probably connect my cities, you know. Borders will expand here in like two turns. Um, yeah, the archer here is fine, honestly, like, he's fog busting, and if an idiot spawns here and moves here, I can still get to the city in time, it's not an issue. Oh, my work is fog busting here, so I can actually do this for a couple turns, that's perfect. Just remembered that, yeah, my workers got discovered. Alright, so warrior here, and we want to try to grow a bit. That's not great, but. Uh, or I could just go, like, really pump out the workers. Too bad I can't do that, otherwise I starve. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We definitely want to invest in some farms here. But no, I can just build a warrior, and then if I overflow into a worker, it'll speed up the worker. Technically, so, yeah, whatever. Oh, do I have overflow right now? No, that's just my base hammers. Yeah, nine hammers, dude. Not bad. Just need some farms. Yeah, two farms, I think. One here, in case I want to settle down here. And, like, one, I don't know. One in the first ring, and then these guys can all be cottages. I think the city here is still worth it, so maybe farms on these two tiles to share to those cities and stuff and... Yeah, I mean this grabs three floodplains, this is definitely a worthwhile spot, but no one's gonna settle here for ages. We're pushing out and expanding like a bastard, claiming some land since idiots have decided to settle in our face. Look at this, I'm already keeping up with Freddy and Augustus. Not bad of an opening, really. <coughs> Alright, well, another worker's coming here, he can help road. Yeah, I think all the extra workers is going to be good value. We have floodplains, we have forests, we have long-distance cities that need roads and stuff, so getting all these workers is worth it. Or how about another settler? I get the warrior first for the happiness, and then probably, yeah, another settler is fine. Just go for it, man. Oh, wow. Wow, 2000 BC alphabet. He's just sitting there with three cities taken away. Alright, look at him. He's killing all the barbarians for us. What a nice guy. Honestly, a legend. Do I dare go here? Yeah. Everything's covered, why not? Now I can fog bust for this city here. And that's honestly better than over here, I will need mysticism here, but we can build it, we can chop the monument, no problem. Just watch for settler party, I guess. He went over here, but... It's really nice when things actually work your way for once, and like, she's... 
Do I want another gold? <laughs> Do I want another gold? I don't know. Oh, where do you think you're going? If you go here, then yeah, okay. No worries, dude. What to do with my workers? Gandhi, do you have writing, you moron? No, you're busy going for monotheism and stuff. Gandhi's not doing that great. It's really like, your friend is ticking very well. I should be watching him, but I mean, he's got three cities. He built another archer. Congratulations. Maybe two. Alright, I don't really need these warriors, but this guy can go check out what's down here, I guess. Yeah, just take a look. Why not? Don't need all these warriors, really. I'm probably paying for them. Yeah. I should fix when my cities start growing, but still. Okay, no, 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 no. We don't need the hammers, just do that after. Yeah, c can just work the gold and chop granary or whatever. Okay, yeah, let's get this road up. He could get writing any turn. I may as well while I'm right there. And then I can go straight to the gold after that and help out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, do I want... I think I chop a granary here first and then improve the gold. I think that makes sense. Alright, pretty good start. Nobody plotting. Nobody plotting yet. Freddy is just not expanding. He's probably got lots of land back there to backfill as well. He's just being a prick about it. Okay, check this out. Six turn granary, but no, we can do like this and just get it with one chop. Well, maybe this. No, we want the food box half full. Alright, we rode like this, I think. Makes sense. Don't need to do anything fancy here. Or I could chop. Yeah, maybe just chop the stupid granary first. No, this guy can chop. I think I start my rooting. It'll come in time if that guy chops. So no problem there. Alright. Writing. Worker, granary here. Settler. Yeah, I should be giving the food to the other city. I mean, just get the food box half full. Well, what if I do that for one turn and do like and get this half full for the thing and then you just do this like sick, yeah whatever okay let's see if there's anything here like there could be a uh, something there who knows It'd be nice if there was fish down here but... oh really put the friggin trump wall in my face okay augustus caesar would trade stuff okay so he's got sailing to give him any unnecessary trade rounds though. Yeah, chop the stupid green area. Bam. Can do that so we get it at halfway and you can take the food now. Oops. Get that settler uh, two turns faster, that's pretty good value. Uh, I think you should grow now. We'll just chop this guy out, no problem. Yeah, I've already put one turn into that chop. Got trade routes with Gandhi whenever we get writing. Okay, let's get the gold up and running so we can work this and the gold, I think. I also need to farm in my capital. I've really neglected my capital, but we're pumping out settlers anyway. It doesn't matter too much, but I'm gonna want to grow it and build a library and stuff. It's fine, we can develop it later. It's still very early. Five turns. Yeah, I get it much faster doing it like this. And oh boy. Yeah, well, no, just get.
get it done, I guess. What if I... Okay, nope, she's just gonna go here first. I bet there's iron here, yeah, and she's gonna steal it off me. What if I did that for one turn, just to get this... Uh, it's probably not worth delaying the Settler to get a perfect granary build. Just get the Settler two turns faster. Yeah, continue writing. Writing is... well, yeah, it's gonna take a bit of time until I get my gold mine back on. Yeah. Alright, Settler, here. Yeah. Where's this witch going? Yeah, she's gonna steal this spot. I bet you there is iron there. I just have a feeling. Next turn I can go for riding, I'll have the gold. Won't be able to work it, but I mean just sit at size 2 and I don't know. I can make a worker right here. We want this spot. Uh, yeah. Nothing really interesting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's all we got, because Victoria is closing off this spot because she's a witch. So this is really it. If she goes here, I can still go here. Nope, she's just gonna go in my face like that, okay. Terrific! Yeah, just trap my warrior, you witch. a construction rush on uh, Victoria. She's really annoying me. Just satellite up. This is a piece of crap, dude. I don't want this city. Just raise that. It should be settled here and using the oasis. Like, she's so stupid. It's just gonna drain her economy, that city. Like, it's working one grassland tile. Like, nice, man. How's my GMP, anyway? Not great. Someone's really... Yeah, that could be culture though. But who's got the religion? Like, there's one more guy here we haven't met. Now I think it's a high, it's a low piece weight guy. Well, maybe not. Yeah, there's one more guy here. Yeah, whatever. Okay, how long will it take to grow here? Because once we work the gold, it's going to be like plus three food. It's not really great. Maybe I want to build a farm here, since I'm working a gold mine. But no, I can farm this tile and I'll just cottage. Like, we don't have to grow insanely fast. We can chop the library and yeah. Yeah, well, plus three food is really not that. Ideal. No, it's not needed, it's okay. And do I want mysticism first? No, I think you just skip it and go for library. You want a library here. You want a library here. Maybe this one, a monument, but it's not really necessary now. And She's decided to grab that piece of crap. Okay. I got two more cities. So yeah, this cell is almost definitely going down here. Let's see. One... Two, three, hold on. One, two, three, four. I don't think roads would do too much for that. One, one, two, three, four. I'd have to have a road like all the way here. Yeah, roads aren't gonna do much. Um, what do I want to do? So plus three food per turn. 
I think I have time to read these tutorials and then come back and cottage or whatever. Like a plus three food per turn, it's gonna take eight turns to hit size three. So we're looking at 10 turns until we really need an improvement. So I have time Watch to road. So what I'm gonna do is this guy's gonna go road these two tiles, connect my city, because it's not connected right now. And then this guy is gonna start farming some floodplains. I think that's really the best. And yeah, I can't even go here. I can go here. Hmm. We can do that later though. Yeah, go here and grab this oasis. I should keep this tile, it's my capital. Yeah, I, I think so, we go here, like, that's a bunch of forests, I could chop out like, I don't know, three elephants there, man. It's got a three foot tile, it's, and I can steal this tile if I settle right here. Yeah. You want to play it like that? You can settle the garbage, oh, use the oasis and the farm and actually make a better city out of it, you stupid idiot. Take that. <laughs> Alright, so you are going to be farming. Which ones do we want farmed? Probably, definitely this one to share to this guy. And, yeah, I need two farms in my capital, so I think just farm these two tiles. It'll take a while, but whatever. Mm. Yeah, man, whatever. He beelined alphabet. He doesn't have ironworking. He doesn't have mysticism or fishing. He just went straight to alphabet. Like, straight there. He picked up bronze working and then just went, yeah. Straight to alphabet. He doesn't have masonry. He doesn't have anything, dude. He can do whatever. He's got three cities. I'm about to get a fourth. As long as I beat him here, that's, that's a pretty critical spot, like if I can't get this spot, I need to go for like an early rush with my few cities, but if I can get this one, I'll get this one, and then this one, and then I will have six cities, two of them being kind of garbage, but still, like, we can make it work, we can do lip with these six cities, I think, with my, all my bulbing. I don't have a whole lot of food, but who cares? Got gold mines. I can just farm the floodplains and get great people out. And you know, the city can really produce a lot of great people later on. It's still early anyway. We're just kickstarting our economy here. Right, a couple more turns. Yeah, he's expanding his borders. The punk. Ah, uh, here we go. Instant trade routes. Bam. Yep, have that tile roaded, so immediate trade route connection. Means, yep, roading this is gonna be on time, and connect the stupid gold. to start growing that city. Yes, but I'd also like to get the settler out as fast as possible, so let's just chill for a bit. I want to chop this while I'm here. Oh, I've got to pump out the settlers somehow, so maybe I just want to chop while I'm here. Would be better than farming. Yeah, just chop settlers. I, I need to expand, man. Alright, Hinduism. I need that religion before she comes and kills me. Does she have metal? She's dangerous. She's always been the kind of person to attack me early. It's okay, not yet. She can't plot. Yeah, she's gotten metal and attacked me 2000 BC on Immortal. Like, she's crazy. Okay, one more turn. Guess just let's open borders and try to meet the other people with this warrior. Why not? Okay, they're having some kind of settling race. Okay, yeah, that's a good spot. Was 
that Gandhi? Fear my chariots. No, you're not gonna attack, are you? No, you're not. Okay. Yeah, the city just worked the golden. No, you can make a worker here. Look at this, I get expensive here as well. Four hammers? Still get my expensive bonus here. It's making me like 10 because the city's not nothing at all. Yeah, definitely worth it. Alright, so we need a monument here, but we'll pick up writing first. So yeah, get the worker. I'll probably chop him. One of these guys can chop him. You, I want to help out with the farms. You just wait for writing, so just build a barracks for now, and yeah, seven turns to grow. Ugh. It's a problem with gold. But okay, I think I'll just take a break here. I'm playing this game slow. I want to make some good content here. Play well for once, instead of just rushing things like an idiot. We'll go here and grab this stuff next, and then here, and, and then here, so... Pump out the settlers, and yeah, we can grow later. Get six cities, thousand BC, and... Yeah, expansive has been awesome so far. What a great trait. Really gotten huge value out of it. Definitely underrated. It is probably up there with spiritual and financial. But okay, thanks for watching. I'm gonna take a break. See you guys next time.